Hi, welcome back to Golf to Jones. So on the table today we have the DJI Mavic. So this is the Mavic 1, if that's what you call them. Mavic Pro, the original one. So I'm not going to review this because it's been out ages. I've had this a couple of years now. It's never let me down. It performs perfectly well. Got quite a bit of flight time on it now, but it doesn't miss a beat. The batteries are exactly as they were when I got them. I don't think it's got any difference in flight time. It can vary between 18 to 20 minutes. That's what I've always seemed to get out of it. Not the advertised 24, I think it was when it came out. So I bought this as a flyball combo. I think it cost me £1,100. Didn't come in this case. The case it came in was a faux leather type thing. It's like a bag. But the in that the Xeno fits. So I put the Xeno in it because it fits inside it. And I bought this for this. I think for like 10 quid or something like that. There's hundreds of these things about because the drone's been out so long. <coughs> so the reason I've been looking at it today, <coughs> it struck me that I've been flying the Xeno a hell of a lot recently. So I've done a lot of testing on the Xeno. You've probably seen loads of videos. I've done different firmwares, when I had issues with the camera, when I had it replaced. All different videos. I've probably got about five or six videos. I must have flown it 14, 15 times in a very short period of time. I got well used to the drone, and it's a lot better than it was when it first came out. It was so much better, it's untrue. The improvements are massive, and it will get better and better. But it's going to come to a point where it never gets any better, and that's because the controller is nowhere near as good as one of these, because the resolution of sticks isn't, go isn't as good. You can't be as smooth moving it, you're in it, which is massively important when you want to do photography. And the reason they're never going to get it 100% right is because it's this controller. They can do the firmware all you want. And you can do anything you want in here. If the pots inside here aren't good enough, you're never going to get that. So it's going to come to a point where it's as good as it's going to be. We're not there yet. I think it's got a couple of firmware updates. But it's a million times better than it was. And it's probably now worth the money you pay for it if you buy one new. The reason I'm having a look at this is because I flew this after. I thought, oh, I'll check it out because I haven't flown it for ages. Because doing what I'm doing, reviewing, I don't actually get time to actually fly for me anymore. So I decided I'm going to have a fly with this and see what it was like and the difference is just mind-blowing I took this up and it was like super smooth super stable never dropped it I took it up in the air it held its place it didn't drop on left and right hand turns it didn't affect wasn't affected by the wind the gimbal didn't skip it didn't do any of that and then I thought wow there's a massive difference but you gotta remember I paid 1200 pounds for this I paid 339 or 340 pound for a Zeno Obviously, it's going to be a massive difference. But then I went to see how much one of these was second hand. So I'm not selling it because I'd never get rid of this. If I'm going to buy the Mavic 2, I'll still keep the Mavic 1 because I still love this thing. It's great. It's sort of like what I'd pick if I was wanting a drone to take with me and I could only take one. It would either be this or the Altel Evo now. But for small stuff, if I want to carry some portable, it's probably going to be Spark or maybe the Mavic Air. So. These things only fetch about 520 quid. That's with one battery in the controller, but you can get the fly more combo for around 610 pound. Now, there's still a big difference, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying there's not, but there's a massive difference in the way it flies. And I know a lot of people wouldn't touch second hand, and that, I've, I said in the Spark video, it doesn't bother me in the slightest, because I've got massive protection, especially if I buy off eBay, because I've got PayPal protection and eBay protection. So if it's not as advertised, I always fly it when I get it. If it's not advertised, I send it back, I've sent stuff back before. So that's not an issue to me whatsoever. There's none. I'm probably safer actually buying it from them than I am a lot of other places. So that's not an issue. So what you can look at is what can you get for your money and this is a really good value now at second hand price. So it's under half what I paid for it now or probably half if I buy the Fly More combo. Yeah the batteries are going to be a bit used but you can test all that before you buy it. You know what you like. You can check your battery condition on the app and the massive advantage for me is I can fly with this. So you've probably all seen these. Now these are DJI goggles. So these connect up wirelessly to this no cable from the transmitter nothing i just pop these on my head that's all i need i also at that point always attach a phone because on the mavic it's the only dji product that it does apart from obviously the new mavics i can connect a phone as well because they don't interfere with each other so i can have the phone running on here and i can have the goggles running so the goggles obviously have their own version of dji go inside them You've probably all seen them now through their own version of DJI Go, but I get superb clarity on this and I get the blacked out look if I want. These things are really comfortable, a bit heavy, but they're so comfortable on your face because of this. 
And if you've never used these, watch some videos. There's a lot of videos on these. I did one ages ago. Asking if they were worth the money when I bought them. And yeah, I think they are. I don't use these as much as I should. I'll be totally honest with you. But I don't fly that anywhere as much as I should anymore. Because of what I do. Because I'm reviewing a lot of drones. So I don't really get time to fly for me, as I said. So these are great. And because of that, I can then fly and have no issue with screen. No issue with clap, glare from the sun. Because this thing... Just gives me a 1080p image back if I'm close enough. And then I have the phone here. So what I tend to do is fly with the phone and put the goggles down when I'm over somewhere where I want to get some good filming. So that's what I tend to do. Or if I've got a spotter with me, my wife with me or someone like that, I tend to fly without the phone. I'll just fly with the goggles. I have no issues with these on range. Latency, because these are OcuSync. So you have no issue with them at all. So they're a great addition to fly with this. And that gives me a different perspective. And these are about, you can pick these up a couple of hundred quid second hand. I think, I, I only paid 220 or 230 pounds for these, I think, when they were new. Because I got them on a deal. So, it's a cheap combination compared to a lot of other stuff. I'm not saying it's cheap, it's not, it's, expensive, it's still expensive. So it's truly got to be worth looking at one of these second hand. So the massive advantages you get out of one of these second hand is the camera's, the camera's good. It's not as good as the Altel Evo, the new... Um, Mavics because it's only got I think it's a 60 megabits per second bitrate it's 30 frames per second 4k it's quiet it's a lot quieter than the Mavic Air um, but you can actually buy props for this that make it even quieter the engineering on this thing's fantastic it's so well made it's untrue it's a beautifully finished off drone so the other competition this is you've got the Femi you've got the Femi that's just coming out the X8SE Sorry about that, my camera battery went flat, which is why you're going to have this little transition. So yeah, we're talking about the Femi X8SE, so I haven't got my hands on one yet. It does look a great drone, but from what I've seen of it, the build quality won't be like this. The controller probably isn't anywhere near as good as this, but a good price point if you can get hold of one. If you can get hold of one, that's the problem. When I get one, I'll obviously have it reviewed, but it's not going to change my mind over this, because I still think this is a great drone for the money. So... <coughs> Obviously people do, people will make their own mind up about this But it's got to be worth having a quick look at if you're after something to get into the camera drones For the money you pay for it There's a lot of other stuff out there that's more money and not too much more But I just love this thing. I think they got it absolutely spot on Which is why it stayed so long as it was and they haven't done that much to it They haven't made it that much different. They've kept the overall style in the same because this was a winner Position landing and everything's fantastic on it. So I just wanted to do this quick video just to show you that what you can get for your money. And like I say, it's not a comparison video to Xeno because they don't compare. It wouldn't be fair on the Xeno and this would win on every category basically. So thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.